Shifa says, my father uses interest money from the bank for household expenses, and he works in an ins insurance company, and his salary is haram. Does this affect us? And what about the others who invite, who are invited to our house for uh, um, meals and feasts and uh, the gifts he gives us and them with this haram money? First of all, we have to understand that the income one gets from haram sources is divided into two types. Haram by itself and haram for the way it is earned. What do you mean, Sheikh? If I take this mug and I steal it from someone, this mug, after stealing it, is not mine for sure. And if I give it to you, it's not yours for sure, because this belongs to another person. So it is haram because of itself, not because of anything else. And such wealth cannot be used or utilized or accepted. If a person is a burglar, he's a, he's a thief, and he steals people's money, the money is belonging to others. Even if he gives it to me as a gift, the gift is haram. Once I know, I have to dispose of it or give it uh, to the lawful owner or give it in the cause of Allah, جل, but not to utilize it because it is stolen. So a lot of the people say, Sheikh, people brings us, uh, uh, bring us stolen goods. Can we buy them? It's cheap. It's good. So the answer is no. I remember once, ages ago, I was in Miami, Florida, and I was coming out of the bank, and this brother comes to me. He says, listen, you want to buy some expensive watches? And he shows me a list, a, a collection of watches, and it's original, I can tell. Rolexes, etc. And he's selling it cheap, but I'm sure and definite that this is stolen. I cannot buy it. Buying it is haram for me. Then there is the second type of income, haram income, which is haram due to its earning. So if a person sells drugs or intoxicants or cigarettes or movies or indecent magazines, if a person works in an insurance company or in a financial institution that deals with riba, such as banks, or credit cards, if a person works in uh, uh, the media and he produces movies, etc., all of this is haram. His income is haram. The money he makes is haram for him to utilize. But if he gives it to someone else, such as his wife, his children, if he gives gifts, if he cooks food and people eat from it, the sin is on him, but it is permissible for me to benefit from that. So the actual wealth and money that he had gained is haram for him, but the actual money is not haram itself, like the stolen goods. So if he stole a watch and he sold it and he cashed a thousand dollars, these thousand dollars are haram by themselves. The watch is haram by itself. But in the haram income that is haram due to the way it was earned, this is a different story. Therefore, whatever he gives to you, your, your father, as provision, as school fees, as clothes, as uh, food, presents, it's all legit for you, and the sin is on him. You reap the benefits, and he will also be punished for it in his grave and on the day of judgment. May Allah protect us all.